Example 1. Today you take out a $5,000 loan at 10% simple interest, which is to be repaid with two equal payments at the end of the first year and at the end of the second year. Find the size of the payments using today as your focal date. So let's put in some of our items. 10% simple. These questions could deal with simple or compound interest, and it's important for us to know which one. $5,000 loan and then two equal payments. So let's start with a timeline. There we go. Nice and neat. Let's put in our times. Today is always zero, one year, and two years. So those are the times that are important. We borrowed $5,000. And we're going to repay X dollars. And that's because I have to choose any kind of variable and I choose the letter X. That's often what we do. It says use today as your focal date. So I'm going to go ahead and circle that. Importantly, I have to say whether everything is money in or money out. That $5,000 is a loan. It came into my account. Well, those payments are leaving my account. It doesn't matter which way you decide to draw your arrows as long as you're consistent. After all, $5,000 coming into my account means the person who loaned me the money had $5,000 leave their account and the payments will come to them as income. Every question has both people and it can be done either way. Let's move everything to the focal date. And then we set this up. So X is the size of the payment, and we're gonna set this up as money in equals money out. Or money paid, sorry, money borrowed equals money paid. So let's start with that money that we borrowed. We borrowed $5,000. And the $5,000 isn't moving at all, so it gets to stand alone exactly where it is. That's going to be equal to this first payment of X. That's moving backwards, and we know that then we're dividing. We're finding a present value, and that is X over 1 plus 10% simple times 1. And then we're going to take the present value of this guy. Again, we're moving backwards, so that second payment of X is 1 plus 10% times 2. When we come up with something like this, it makes a lot of sense to uh, simplify before we start to do anything. If you love algebra and this is really something you're good at, pause now, do the algebra, algebra to solve for x. If you're struggling, keep on watching. Okay, I'm going to make this a little bit simpler. Now, I have two different fractions on the bottom. I'm actually going to move this over a little bit, and you will see why. I have two denominators, so what I'm going to do is multiply both sides by 1.1 and 1.2. And because there's a plus in here, I'm going to multiply everything. Let's just move this over here, 1.1. 1.2. Perfect. Now I can do some simplifying. There's a 1.1 on the bottom and the top. And there's a 1.2 on the top and the bottom. This is a good way of clearing out those denominators. I'm going to rewrite this expression without doing any arithmetic. Well, that looks a lot nicer. Next, I'm going to actually move those sides over because I personally always like my X to be on the left and the other number to be on the right. Let's do $5,000 times 1.1 times 1.2 and I get $6,600. When I add these together, because remember, I'm distributing this through. So 1.1 plus 1.2 is 2.3. So I have 2.3x 
equals 6,600. I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 2.3 and that will clear that 2.3 from the x and what I'm left with is just x over equals 6,600 over 2.3. 6,600 showing up on my calculator divided by 2.3 and I get $2,869.57 remembering to round up. And that is the answer and I'm going to finish by writing a sentence. Each payment is going to be $2,869.57. Let's do one more part. It's not written in this question, but we care about interest. In general, this is really important. We do want to know how much we paid. In this case, interest is going to be money paid minus money borrowed with no interest calculated. And I'm going to say no PV or FV. So the money I paid is going to be two payments of $2,869.57 and we borrowed $5,000. I'm going to clear this because I don't want all those trailing decimal places. One of the frustrating things about business math is even though we always end up with fractions of a cent and we carry them through, you can't make a payment that's less than a cent. So you always have to round when you make a payment. So I'm going to multiply that by 2 and subtract 5,000 and it looks like I paid $739.14 in interest. That's how much this loan cost.